Hey guys and gals, I'm DJ and I just want to show you a project that I've been working on for a game called Kerbal Space Program. It's made by some independent developers, they're called Squad. And it's, they have a really great modding community which can help you get started if you've ever been interested in 3D graphic design and even coding in C Sharp. As the wheels on these vehicles, they're coded by a developer named Tosh and the modeling and texturing as you can see is done by a guy named Bobcat and his buddy Crashenburn. This vehicle over here to the left was developed by them. It's called the DEMV Mark IV, the Rat, and the back has different cargo modules you can use. For instance, this one's a laser cannon. It has a fuel module and also a battery pack. So if you wanted to strap on some ion engines, which it's included in the Mark IV pack. You can literally fly this thing in low gravity situations. It was a fun vehicle and I was inspired to challenge myself and make something similar. It's smaller, only a one-seater compared to the two-seater over here. It's called an RTV, Remote Tech Vehicle. And as the name implies, you can control this wirelessly, either via satellite link up, or if you have someone in a spacecraft orbiting and you have direct line of sight. Deployable antenna has a range of about 5,000 kilometers. And the fuel tank that carries 300 liters. And then the jet engine I actually borrowed from C7 Studios just for testing for the time being. I scaled it down to 0.5. And not quite standard. So yeah, why don't we give this bad boy a go, shall we? Take the parking brake off. <laughs> Gonna need that. And I also did the interior for this. My first time, but uh, it's not too shabby. I got a nav ball, speedo, compass. These buttons are non functional, but I'm sure eventually they'll make it so you can push a button and it'll be a ejection seat, or <laughs> perhaps you can open up the hatch. Oh, and uh, the altimeter over here. Alright, so let me turn on the, a the SAS. That way we don't roll over when we're going super fast and I'm going to hit the throttle all the way up. You see the faster we go our airflow is going to increase. I uh, also designed an intake for this vehicle. It's not in yet, I'm still waiting for the update. But once that arrives I'll be able to integrate it with the part modules and that way we'll enhance the the, int the airflow for the jet engine. There's also going to be an update to the remote tech mod. I can't exactly say what, but it'll be super impressive once uh, Kerbal Space Program has their .18 update. So thanks for so much for watching. Please comment, like, and share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.